just like you are. Perfect. Alright guys, we are shimmying all the way around. So we got Melissa driving the Jeep, Hannah and Keel are in the Ram, and Keel is driving the Ram and he's having a really good time. It's uh, it's pretty fun, like allowing friends to do this because like he's done off-roading but he's never done like crawling. So it's just really cool and fun. <laughs> All right guys, so we made it here to Sedona and we are dispersed camping about, I don't know, if you account for the dirt road and the drive into town, we're about 20 minutes outside town. We're off road. Isn't this road called 525 Forest Road? I think so. This is Forest Road 525. I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, off Highway 89A. We're here with our friends, Hannah and Keel. They got a big Montana. We're set up here and What's interesting about this area is how much it has changed. So this is one of the areas that was affected by trash, feces, overcrowding. and overcrowding. And basically Forest Service did a full on lockdown around here and they basically only have about four camping areas. And what's weird is it's kind of like a massive turnout in a sense. There's a few little trees. We actually got a really good little spot in the corner there. But it's kind of like there's a turnout here. There's a couple ahead further down the road. And we're five miles in on a pretty rough dirt road. So this is five miles in. There's another one in about another three quarters of a mile. That one's actually more like normal dispersed camping. But you can yeah. tell there's signs posted everywhere and there's roads that the Forest Service closed off because people don't take care of the area. Yeah. Instead of like individual dispersed camping spots along this road, what it's pretty much been condensed to now is these bigger open areas. Uh, they're kind of like a big dirt lot. Um, and I guess that was just the way that the Forest Service decided they wanted to manage the land. Close all of these like other little spots that were getting created. Unfortunately, there was just so many people in such a popular area. Yeah, they felt that that was necessary. Um, so now they have it very limited. Um, and you do have to come in quite far to get to like open, slightly more open areas. Like there's not that many people here right now. And it's a Friday. Um, but we're five miles down a very bumpy yeah. dirt road. And now they have pit toilets. Uh, so not even. They have or porta -potties. Or port -port potties. I don't want to blame it on certain people, but I mean, guys, I'm just going to say a blanket statement. If you're pooping in the wilderness, bury your shit. Like, that's one of the main reasons that they had stated. Because I remember this coming up and everybody was trying to, like, you know get them to keep it open but it's kind of a bummer because there's so many cool little offshoot trails like especially with the black series that would be rad to go up and have a nice secluded camp um but now it's just yeah it kind of reminds me more of like quartzite it's just like three four big areas and all the rigs just kind of stack up on each other unfortunately so here's an example of a spot that they closed they carved in these big ditches, hoping to keep people out, place these rocks here, put a no camping sign. But like, it's just a bummer because this is a really, really nice spot that now you can no longer use. The next day. Well, that's not good. Blew a transmission line. Got transmission fluid everywhere. Luckily, it looks like it was just a hose clamp that failed and then the line popped off. But got a nice mess now. We're here on Broken Arrow 
trail in Sedona. We have Ryan with his orange Tacoma. We are in the Jeep. Melissa is rocking the tow rig, the big old, the big old Ram. And then we have William in a built Tacoma and uh, super fun trail. Obviously you have to pay attention to the pink Jeep tours. There's a lot of them and we often try to let them pass right, as much as possible. Um, Cause it is a tight trail and uh, you know, they're, they're a business and they got, they got schedules and stuff. We don't have any schedule. Pretty challenging for my pile. This is one of the first climbs. This is submarine rock. Probably one of uh, the more difficult ones. So we're gonna see what we can do with the old Jeep. There goes Ryan. Making it look easy. He is. After making the climb to Submarine Rock, we hopped out and walked up and explored the area. Then it was back to the trail. Damn, you took the bonus bonus line. There, good. Thanks buddy. All right, so we got Keel driving the old Ram. Give her a little bump. You had it. You can bump from there. Right there, that's good. And just carry that momentum. And you're going straight and then go towards the Tacoma at the end. Go. There you go. Yep. Guys, we are shimmying all the way around. So we got Melissa driving the Jeep, Hannah and Keel are in the Ram, and Keel is driving the Ram and he's having a really good time. It's, uh, it's pretty fun like allowing friends to do this because like he's done off-roading but he's never done like crawling. So it's just really cool and fun. And now Melissa is gonna drive the Jeep because she needs to build up a little confidence with this bad dog. That's true. I'm like, I'm always like, no, I don't want to drive the Jeep off-road. I mean, I'll go fast, but. But crawling's different. Crawling's a different beast.
just go slow and you're gonna let it roll a, li a little. You're good, you're good. You got one more down, okay. And it's gonna drop down one more time. There you go, you're good, let it roll. Feels a little weird, I know. You're pretty much going straight down. You're good. That's fine. Shorter than the Ram too, you good? Okay. Yep, you're good. Sammy will fly the rest of the way. It's pretty easy, you got it. Yep, perfect. Little passenger, you're good. Easy, it just feels a little weird. You're gonna be totally fine. Go low passenger. Just keep creeping like that. You're in first gear, right? Creep it like that. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Right there, that's your line. Slightly driver. Right there. Now a little passenger. Right there. Just, you're gonna creep it. It's gonna feel a little weird. Kind of let it roll, but stay on the brake and just keep going just like you are. Perfect. Keep going. It's going to feel a little weird again. You're going to pop up. It's going to feel a little weird. Foot on the brake, but just kind of let it just slide nicely. There you go. There you go. Nice. She's going to spot you with hand signals now. Okay? You're good. Nice, buddy. Here's the end of the day. Happy New Year's, everyone. After off-roading, we went south of town to Delapane Burgers, which was recommended by a local and was well worth the visit. Aside from off-roading, Sedona has plenty to offer. There's a vibrant art scene, tons of great hikes, walkable downtown areas, and ancient ruins. Yeah.